This is the Edge of Innovation, Hacking the Future of Business. I'm your host, Paul Parisi. And I'm Jacob Young. On the Edge of Innovation, we talk about the intersection between technology and business, what's going on in technology, and what's possible for business. Welcome to another edition of the Edge of Innovation. Today we're talking with Jeremiah Smith with Simple Tiger. He's the founder and CEO, and you're an SEO company. So are you responsible for all the emails that I get asking me about SEO and broken English? Okay, no cap. Well, I, but I think, you know, I, we get a lot of emails and in the past, you know, if you've gotten emails for all sorts of different things, whether it be, you know, certain medicines or whatever, but there must be a tremendous appetite out there if people are sending spam emails for it. You don't send out spam if you're a spammer on something that nobody's going to buy, you know, so we wouldn't send a, you know, I'm trying to think of a good example of something stupid to send spam about, but just about anything is going to be something that there's a huge desire for and a need for. And so you're an expert in SEO and you've been doing this a while. We'll have contact information in the show notes so you can get in touch with Jeremiah or his company. But I wanted to get your opinion on, we'll, we'll talk about what SEO is and, you know, in a, in a detailed way and your sort of unique approach to that. But before we get into all those details and, and how you've built an organization to help people manage that, what is the promise of SEO? SEO, for people that are listening, just to remind you, is search engine optimization. So if I go off the rails here, stop me, but let's just, let's start this as the thing. So search engine optimization. So Google's a search engine, Bing, and are there any others? Yes, there are a few more, etc. But those are the ones that primarily people use. And they search. That's an engine that goes out and helps you find things on the internet. So if you want to find, you know, I want to, I want to find what's the best food for my hamster, I can type that query into a search engine and then get a response back. As you can imagine, there's a lot of power in the people who own or run the search engine because they can bring up this pet food or this pet food or a generic pet food that you can make in your own kitchen for your hamster. So we want to optimize the experience, but that doesn't sound like it's optimizing it for Google. It doesn't sound like it's making it better on behalf of Google or it's making it better on behalf of Bing, but it's making it better on what I want people to find. So if I make the best hamster food in the world, I'd come to you and say, can you help me with my search engine optimization? And I know you don't focus on hamsters or even animals or what you're going to talk about that in a minute, but really what's, what's sort of the core of what are we trying to do? What are we trying to optimize? Okay. Right. Right. 
I'm a self guided kind of person when it comes to like all the decisions and things like that. That I make decisions and education and stuff like that. I have never had a lot of time on a lot of that. I have told a lot of people, as a matter of fact, the masses of the world are doing more towards than self directed research and product decision mentality, which is a shift from a lot of many things. And so I see it all just kind of stuck out to me because it, it's promised, you must have been there once the promise was you. It promises to be a highly targeted audience directly to your goal or directly to your product or your service offering your business. And to some of it's extremely valuable and fun. I think your business ought to be doing something or always to see it on you working with people in some way. And I don't know if you can address your goal. Yeah, I think it I think it does, but I, I want to draw out that example you gave that 30 years ago, if you needed hamster food to beat the analogy to death, you would go to the yellow pages and look up pet food. But you wouldn't necessarily be able to look under a category called hamster food. You might might have pets and then rodents or whatever it is. So what's evolved with and I'm asking this to, you know, sort of get your confirmation here, is that now we have an infinite yellow pages that can have as many sections as it wants. Because I remember in the yellow pages way back in a galaxy far, far away that people would list their company under multiple headings. Because let's say you're a cleaner and you do business cleaning and you do house cleaning. So you would be in both sections of the phone book and they would charge you for each one of those listings. And now the world's changed. The disruption that's occurred with the internet is that now there aren't any headings. I mean, there were directories early on, but now those are sort of gone. And now I can search organically to the very specific thing. I want a cleaner, a house cleaner that cleans a certain brand of windows. And they're the expert on that. And I could actually ask that question. So what is your thought on that? Is that right? Or is that a good analogy? So as our listeners can sort of latch on to that and say, okay, that's what I'm thinking about SEO is just listing under the headings or is it like the old yellow yellow pages or is it something more than that? Right. Or you're a woman that wants to be a man and wants to have a women's suit. Anyway. Sure. Right.
Cybersecurity is critical for today's businesses. Savior Labs is a Boston cybersecurity firm that cares for your business and your team. We solve problems so you can focus on what you do best. Just follow the link in the show notes and enter code SECURITY for more information. We can go very technical very quickly here, and I want to avoid that initially, but I do think some of that would be interesting. So the success of SEO is for you to bargain with Google that when somebody types in, use the business process management, they type in business process management and you are going to pay Google to display your result. Sure. Right. Yep. Right. Okay. Sure. Right. Okay. So you bring to light that, let me see if I summarize this right, that SEO and your job is to influence the ranking as much as you can. So when Google reads your website or the website you're working on, you want to, I'll use the crass words, you want to trick Google, you want to manipulate them, whatever those words are, to ranking your site higher than somebody else that has the same product interest. Sure. That is a, but that's a constant ongoing battle. It's not something that you can set today and then tomorrow the, that same influence. So, because it's, it's a cat and mouse game in a lot of ways because Google changes the way they judge things. Step fairly easily. 
point I wanted to, uh, I agree with that, and the, the point I want to highlight to our listeners is the fact that this is not a one-and-done kind of solution ever, regardless of whether you, you get Jeremiah to do the work or you get one of those spam emails to do the work. It, and I think one of the things that the spam emails on SEO make it feel like it's something I can buy. It's not like buying a jar of peanut butter and, okay, I got it. I'm done. So let's go back to the example of business process management. So on that website, are you, if I search for business process management, obviously, and that's off target from what people are searching for, but do you still rank in that for SEO? Okay, so who is your target customer? Is it the ones that have a, a high-value conversion, or is it the one that have many l small, low-value conversions, dollar-wise? Mm-hmm. Right. 
Well, we've been speaking with Jeremiah Smith of Simple Tiger. He's an SEO expert, and they're an SEO agency. As you can tell, there's a lot of value here in what he said. Have you been listening? We've been throwing out book names and different things you should go and look at. All of that will be in the show notes, so I encourage you to look there. You'll find links to Simple Tiger and a way to actually contact Jeremiah. Well, I want to thank you. Thank you for spending the time with us, and who knows? Maybe we'll have you back soon. All right. Thank you. The Edge of Innovation is brought to you in partnership with Savior Labs. Savior Labs exists to help businesses mature and strategize for the future. Learn more about Savior Labs at SaviorLabs.com. Thank you for listening to this episode of The Edge of Innovation, Hacking the Future of Business. For the show notes and more information about Paul, please visit paulparisi.com. The Edge of Innovation is produced by Jacob Young in conjunction with copious amounts of coffee. Music on today's episode was from bensound.com. Paul can be found on Twitter at pdparisi and on LinkedIn at linkedin.com slash pd parisi this episode like all our episodes is transcribed and available at paulparisi.com thanks for listening and we'll see you next week